Hello guys, what is up? It's me. So welcome back to Blazing Glazed and welcome to quite possibly the biggest and best thrift haul ever to enter the YouTube. Enter the YouTube world, if you will. Today I am joined by my little sister Lexi, who you guys might have met in my last video last week. I will link it down below if you haven't yet seen it, but she has been here in LA visiting me for the past two weeks from Ohio and we have done literally a shit ton of secondhand shopping. And I That's mean, insane. we've literally gone to local thrift stores, vintage stores, flea market, estate sale, literally everything you can think of secondhand shopping wise, we have done it over these past two weeks. So like promised, we have the most massive haul you've probably ever seen on the internet thus far. Um, but the cool ass twist is that, like I said, it is all secondhand, all sustainable, all was already out in the universe. And we're going to try it all on for you guys today. Yeah. So if you're new to my channel and you love thrifting, secondhand fashion, being yourself and letting your sparkle shine out your damn booty hole, hit subscribe down below. And we are going to jump right into it. Like I said, Lexi has been visiting from Ohio and you want to tell them kind of the breakdown of what you've been on the hunt for and like why you were shopping so much while you were in LA? Oh yeah, I definitely need to give a disclaimer because there's a lot in this haul. Mainly just came out here to get like my full, like I haven't bought any clothes mainly because of like Corona, all of the factors. I just like really was excited to come out here to not only visit Macy, but participate in some of the awesome just like secondhand shopping that they have out here. And I bought basically like my whole summer wardrobe and then just got random pieces. <laughs> for fall and like back to school and so many pairs of pants and just like, I don't know, it's insane to me how much I got for the money I spent versus like how much I would have gotten if I wasn't able to like have the thrift queen herself take me to her spot. It's not like I can't secondhand shop like in Ohio, still think that you can thrift anywhere. It's awesome there, but I just like, that was my goal of this trip. I was, like, she I came like with an empty suitcase and was like, I am here to fill it up. She literally brought like eight items. And yeah, like she said, Ohio thrifting, that's where we grew up thrifting. It's so, so good. And you can really thrift literally wherever you live. But LA does have an explosion of like so many secondhand options. The flea markets, the estate sales, yeah. the vintage stores. The flea markets are next level. The style unmatched okay so without further ado we are going to jump right in we're going to go piece by piece and we are first starting off with local thrift stores mainly super thrift literally my favorite thrift store in la so we're gonna go like i said item by item first up we got these hats at super thrift that like i mean weren't maybe necessary but like then again i think they like absolutely were necessary i mean everyone needs a fuzzy moment yours is like very wearable for you. Yeah, and like mine is wearable for me. Someone commented on the TikTok when I was wearing this and said that it reminds them of the scene when Carrie goes to the Hamptons, which is amazing because I'm literally going to the Hamptons in June and I think I'm going to be carrying the hat. Are we, are we bringing the hat? We're bringing the hat. <laughs> we are bringing the hat to the Hamptons. And then I might as well just go ahead and share Le Piste de Resistance just while we're hanging here. We literally found this multicolored Louis Vuitton bag at Super Thrift, $20. We don't think it's real. Like I'm obviously not assuming it's real by any means, but it's a pretty, pretty fucking good fake. And like with this hat, I just, you know, this is like the campy moment of my dreams. I absolutely had to have her for $20. I could not say no. Okay, give us your first piece, queen. So now we have a love stinks moment. Little, little love stinks tank, AKA very much so the wedding singer vibes. She found this, I think this was like 99 cents, amazing. And now I have for you, let me just get this situated so I don't sweat my um, titties off. Okay. Then the top that I found is this tank top, which is like insane. It zips up the back. It's vintage. It's super, super like cool and color blocked. And I just feel like this is something that every Instagram brand so is doing. Gorgeous. The green, the orange, the blue, the yellow. I feel like, like I said, so many Instagram brands and like sustainable, but very expensive brands are doing these pieces right now that are so inspired by vintage pieces that already exist. The tag is iconic and incredible and amazing and I cannot wait to style this. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, now my next piece. I have this little blast number. <laughs> He's just, I just feel like this will be so cozy, you know, chilling, working, hanging. And a little bit of banging. TBD. <laughs> okay, and then Lexi found for me this like amazing cute little slip dress. You found this, didn't you? Either me or Mackie. Either you or Mackie. And it's like this great little slip moment. Um, it's, you know, cheetah print. It's amazing. It gives me super like mom and Nut at the Roxbury vibes and had to have. Okay, next up, next up. What next do we got? Next up is this beautiful little shimmy shimmy um, Sharpe moment. It gives me H2O. It's a little BB top. Also very aquamarine vibes. It's BB. It's fabulous. 
was maybe like $3.99. It's really cute on, y'all will see. Okay, and then I found us these stretch pants, which I have just been loving a stretch pant, a yoga pant, obviously have one on I right mean, now. <laughs> and these were only 99 cents each. So first I found these like black little Mossimo ones, and then I found these green ones that I was gonna keep for myself. They're by the brand Tea Party, which They're I so love. Cute. But literally when we came home from the thrift store and I could not get them over even one ass cheek, so I gave two my smaller sister. Yeah, I mean, you're in love with them. I'm obsessed. You're in love with them, they're a moment. You guys will be seeing the try on clip right now. Now we're gonna, you know, flirt it up a little bit. This is just very nice, very beautiful. I saw it in the thrift. I was like, it's got a tie in the back. She's gorgeous. <laughs> you just, <laughs> she's a little house on the prairie. She's living, we're loving. I've been liking like these brown, earthy, green, Tones with, Tones with like a dash of disco. Yes. With like a dash of disco. Oh yeah, it disco. does have a little disco ball literally on the Okay, legs. and now I'm trying to figure out this top. This is a Tommy Bahama bathing suit top with like a built-in bra moment, but I promise you it's a halter. What is going on? Here we go. She fits so good. I got it. So this is a fabulous little Tommy Bahama moment. It fits literally like a cute little, you know, halter and it has this kind of like situation in the front. You know, we'll style this. This will be like such a basic for summer, so we're living. So now I have this nice little Bloomingdale's cashmere, little green sweater. Um, just love it, it's so soft. Just very preppy preppy. And also literally cashmere Bloomingdale's for like $3, so an absolute score. Had to take. Oh, do you wanna show them what you're gonna style that with? Oh yeah, this is just like a nice little Easy to throw on dress. I love the collar. I, I live for a collar. Yeah, it's got a cute little cut and I it's like just like so her. you. Like I would look <laughs> purely insane, but <laughs> you look adorable. <laughs> Maybe I look insane. <laughs> oh, and speaking of just purely insane, this top that Lexi found me that is a protozoa xenon girl of the 21st century to the max. It's by the brand the wonder tea which oh. then reminds me of the wonders like that thing you do oh yeah breaking my heart into a million pieces like you always do wonder tea is not a brand that was just like for the shirt i really can't be sure but this is amazing and it also makes my boobs look like like something out of this world which i'm always down for so now i have these two perfect little summer Skirts. skirts you know i mean i'll probably keep them forever i love this one it has a tie so like it's a small and it's calvin klein this one's pure silk it's vintage it's gorgeous the body and is so cute it's a great little it's maxi so skirt moment it's for your very like times when you're feeling more like prairie like, sometimes i just like gotta walk in, in and the like corn the fields. fields yes the corn fields of course children of the corn a sexy denim mini of course for jennifer's Korean. body Jennifer's body to the max. Is she? She's cute. Okay, now pants. I only have two pairs of pants. I think Lexi has. That was like the main thing you got here. Was so and much I denim. Pants. Like I literally came here with my one pair of jeans that I wear like. And now constantly. you have options, so baby. Have options. Options. Okay, I'll share my pair of jeans first because they are like totally random but they're like nothing I have. And they're like this baggy, really cool kind of like 90s vibe. Um, honestly reminds me of like what the boys wore in Clueless. Like when they're like walking up Ooh, and she's yes. describing the boys style. I'll play yeah, the Yeah, they're clip. very flood to the max. <laughs> and I just love them because they look so cute with a baby tee. And you know, they're pretty sexy. They're pretty sexy. I'm, I feel like I'm usually evoking more like Cher Dion vibes from Clueless, but those give me more Murray vibes, so. It's all good. I'm Dion's boyfriend. Okay, and then these jeans were originally going to be for me, but again, they would not fit over even one of my ass cheeks, so had to give them to the little sister. And they're just these like cool ass 70s, what's the brand? Tim Barget? Paris Barjo. Barjo has this amazing like split crack booty going on and they just really fit her like a glove. Oh God, yeah, I did not expect to love them as much as I do and they're perfect. They're so perfect. And then I got these very like Spencer Pratt a la Princes of Malibu days. Cargo pants, cargo capris, they're guest jeans. Uh, they're pretty incredible. They fit me super, super cute. Like very low waist, a very cute situation, honestly, with this top, 10 out of 10. Would rock the shit out of it. Okay, now let's get through the rest of Lexi's thrift jeans. These are my cowboy uh, cutie. I mean, I just love them. I can't. They're so low low rise. They're know? by the brand Plastic. They're so low rise and they fit you just so beautifully, so incredibly. They're gonna look amazing with that brown top that you showed earlier. These are, I need four pairs of them. They are so comfortable. They, you wouldn't think they'd be, but here, here we go. Look at that waist. We got our anchor blue. Like, oof. Oof. They're just so sexy, anchor blue. They fit her again amazing, but like they also fit me amazing. So like I wish 
Never mind. But I'm gonna be donate to the cause. Donate to the cause. <laughs> oh, this is for a thrift flip. thrift flip moment. Yeah. Yes. All right. So this is her. She's a beautiful little you know floral print out on the beach dress and I want to just you know hammer a little bit yeah cropped but that'll be super cute but we love and then I also forgot I got this like little very Joey and T Paris Hilton inspired skirt honestly with so the hat so going to the Hamptons so, so Carrie hot. going to the Hamptons guys stay tuned for the Hamptons vlog Okay, so that is everything from the local thrifts. Next, we are gonna move on to where we went next on our journey, which I believe was Squaresville Vintage. So let me pass Lexi her items because I Squaresville didn't... was so good. Squaresville They're was good to you. Amazing. Got this beautiful little bralette situation. Oh, She's so, so good. It gives you kind of like a Madonna cone moment. It does cone out and I, I love, I don't have any bra like that. Macy found me this cute little granny. It just spoke to me for you. <laughs> I literally thought they were tiny you. gnomes, but I'm still gonna say they're gnomes. They're so cute. Yeah, this is a cute little like just like vintage sweatshirt. I love that. And then I got this halter top, which ugh, is Marc Jacobs. I'm pretty sure I got it for like 22 bucks or something, but it's Marc Jacobs. You guys know Marc Jacobs is my favorite designer. And it's a halter top, which I am a hoe for for summer. So, it's so this cute. is gonna be really Very cute. Simple. Very fantastic. Okay, right. these pants. So now I've got these, these so. North Face Cargos, True Woman of the Mountains. True Woman of the Mountains, Woman of My I'm Heart. I'm ready to be her. Oh, they fit you so sexy, they give me Bella vibes. They're so cute. Again, with this top I'm wearing. This top I'm wearing, we will discuss later because it is from the flea market, but like, yes, so, hot. so good. All right, so. Oh, there's a little story about these jeans. Oh, yes. So I, I was loving a pair of Macy's pants. I'm finding them right now. You keep talking. <laughs> Went to Squaresville. I found these cachet pants that pants. have like these amazing buttons on the side. They are definitely her Evie Zamora moment. And they all also 13. have a split crack booty. Um, if your booty doesn't have merch. a split crack, I'm not interested. But these are the jeans that she was like originally loving that I got at Goodwill like months and months ago. And they're because they're also very Evie Zamora vibes. They have the split crack booty. And she was literally obsessed with them for the first couple days Dying. she was in town. And then she found her own version. So again, the thrift manifest is absolutely real. That is all for Squaresville. Is that all for Squaresville? I think so. So I think we're gonna move on to, we each have one item. Get ready. Iguana vintage. vintage. Iguana Vintage on Ventura in Sherman Oaks. That's where we went. We definitely have more of like a costumey selection. Like Squaresville Vintage is more like designer pieces, modern, vintage, like kind of a mix. Iguana is definitely more costumey. Yeah, but like with some really cool vintage Athens, pieces throughout. Which is crazy. So Lexi, I feel like you've been wanting these for a long time. So why don't you just go ahead and like have your moment? Okay, guys. Every person dreams at night of having a perfect pair of white go go. And if you don't, what are you doing? And if you don't, what are you doing? These are mine. <laughs> These are my dream. And I love them. <gasps> They're literally dead stock, white, seriously sick go go boots. Like, seriously sick. I have a pair of white go-go boots from an estate sale I went to a couple of months ago that are like kind of fucked up and, and I am now so jealous of these. They are a size nine. This was like her splurge purchase of the whole entire time. And then I got one thing. Oh, I actually got three things at Iguana. The first thing that I got was this little top that was only 10 bucks and it's this like white leather. Again, where's my little skirt? I'm going to the Hamptons in this whole outfit, the white bikini, the white leather bikini top, the cowboy hat and the mini skirt. Stop. I'm gonna that's be That's actually Carrie. so, oh my God, that's Paris as well. Paris, Carrie. Watch out guys. So, I mean, this is gonna be amazing. I'm not gonna do it as a bathing suit, obviously. I'm just gonna do it as like a normal top but it's super, super cute. And then I also got this Billy Idol pin and this one that says, well, butter my buns and call me a biscuit. I don't know, it just reminded me of you when we were together. So. I love that one. Okay, so now I think we are moving on to the estate sale. Yes. The estate sale. And I feel like we found a really good curation. This definitely wasn't like the biggest of the hauls. Like I've definitely found more at estate sales before, but it was I feel like fun to dig. every piece we got was very intentional. And let's break it down right now. So I've been loving like little embroidered bags and this is kind of like an elevated version of that. And it's has like floral, cute. It's the perfect size for me. I look a tiny. And then I found this scarf, which is so amazing because the night before we went to the estate sale, we were watching Night at the Roxbury as we do. You guys know I'm obsessed with Night at the Roxbury, but what you don't Gotta know is that like, it's our sister movie. Like we are Doug and Steve. They are us. 
watch the movie and you truly know our souls. There's a scene where she is wearing, where they run into the Speedos and Emily's family is over, Molly Shannon is over oh and they run into the Speedos and the mom has this like tiger print tight halter dress on. So when we were watching it the night before the estate sale, I said, the vibe for tomorrow is tiger print. I want to find tiger print. Yes. We walked in. I found this not just tiger print, but it literally has tigers like all over it. Silk scarf that I'm gonna do as like a really cool halter moment. I'll obviously show you guys in the try on, but I just, this was again, just such a thrift estate sale manifest moment. Yes. It like made me just like, <laughs> and then we were just like moving along with the animal print. And I guess we were just <laughs> buying everything animal print in the room because I found this like really cool sweater-esque like zip up. That's just, I'm sure ugly to some people, but Again, this is something you're seeing so many Instagram brands kind of do and like sustainable expensive brands do when these things like already exist out in the world. And the way it fits though is what really makes it. Fits it fits kind of like a open. shirt. Yeah, not like, like wear it I'll wear it as a shirt. Underneath. And it's gonna be so fantastic. And then we found this set, which I guess I found the sweater first. And it's this like gorgeous, again, very of the moment right now, zebra, and it's got like the green and the blue. We didn't even know it was a set. And then Lexi pulled this tank top out of nowhere. This is the tank top. She has a stain. As you so... can see. So Lexi was basically gonna, cause she's a sewing queen. You guys know that I'm not like the most thrift flippy sewing connoisseur if you will not the most. if I can't snip snip like I'm just not getting involved but Lexi is a little bit more involved than me so she's gonna either make me a tube top out of this to wear with this or someone commented on our TikTok saying that we should do a skirt but I don't really wear skirts so like I feel like it's gonna be yeah. a tube top I mean we'll see what I do it would be a really short skirt yeah my, like, tiny, like mini would mini. my cheeks fit stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> so I went to the estate sale wearing, wearing this her and while I was there, Macy pulled this for me, which is basically the same a variation. Thing. It has like the sweater material and then it has like silky, silky collar. Basically instead of the leather, it has like this kind of satin vibe. Yeah. And then it has like glitter all over it. So And it zips like, there's two zippers so she can make it into like a sexy little top. But again, thrift estate sale manifest. So, so real. Write out what you're looking for, put it out into the universe, make a Pinterest board of it because in the car on the way to the estate sale, she was wearing this jacket, literally going, oh my God, Macy, like I want to find a jacket like this. This is incredible. And then we pulled this off a granny rack, so. And if anything, it just like helps you have your mind open while you're there. To being able to find things, absolutely. Then when I was going through the linens, I found this super cute, like baby doll style. Has the little, and a little scalloped bottom. It's just a cute basic and just so cute. And then I pulled Lexi this kind of like sexy 70s golf golfing man like hanging out at the country club so hot, honestly. shirt I just knew she would love it like the second I pulled it out and the fact that it wasn't like like it's obviously a woman's shirt the silhouette you can tell but it has more of like a masculine vibe and like masculine energy I've been which, loving a collar you've been really like going back and forth like you play a lot with feminine styles but you also play a lot with like androgynous and like masculine styles as well well I appreciate you picking that up yeah no and I thought this would be super super cute for her so we are winding down. We are winding down. 27 minutes in and we are winding down. Hold on, I gotta delete some footage. Okay, so now we are going to round everything out with the Silver Lake Flea Market, which if you are ever going to LA or in LA, it is every Saturday and Sunday. It's the best flea market in LA, period. Like, buy to the Melrose Trading Post, buy to the Long Beach Flea Market. Like, I just, I love those places and they're great if you're looking for furniture and stuff like that, but this is totally curated for like, young hot people i mean this was an aka everyone like watching this channel no <laughs> or like any age any everyone's hot you guys know how i feel but like it is literally just for like a hot moment i got to meet like a handful of you guys there which was so much fun like we literally had the best time meeting you guys and it actually happened to be people that were like running their own shops there which was insanely cool and like inspiring so we're gonna go vendor by vendor that we shopped at i think we went to four different people and i'm just gonna flash their like ads and their instagrams on the screen and i will also have them linked down below in the description a lot of these people don't just sell at the flea market they also sell on their instagrams and have depop so the first top that i got is a vintage ink pink and black shimmy shake top that you guys will see it better in the try on but like it has this really cool like see-through lacy. lacy material and i was just like loving it you guys know i had to pick up a shimmy shake top of course this top by choice i really love like this cut i don't know I've been really into this cut of a top, so when I saw that it was this style, it's I was got like, like yes. the butterfly sleeves, and I mean, it's by choice. We're pro choice. 
It's the middle. It's and the then only to put the blue theme, I snagged this just like nice Carmen little belt. belt. We love her. Reminded me of middle school, a little scary, a little fun. But a, a, a little, little scary color. and a little fun. That's kind of the theme of the whole haul. A little scary and a little fun. Bada bing, bada bing. I can agree. The next like little tent that we went to was an amazing seller who, again, I'll put her ad up right here, but she had just the best curation of like girly, sex in the city vibes. And I am going to New York, like I said, in June. So I've been looking for like a really amazing Carrie inspired dress to wear. So I got this halter dress, which is like the so beautiful, but the bottom is the moment. The bottom is what makes it Carrie. And like, I just cannot wait to wear the shit out of this. Come My on. blue vintage Prada heels, I can't. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, I just want to wrap my whole body in this. It's totally kind of out of my comfort zone dressing wise. Like, sometimes I want to step out of it. And sometimes I want to do it. And sometimes I want to make it a moment. Really and love. I'm going to push myself. It's giving me such sex in this I know, I, I know, I know. The girl that was running the shop actually picked that up for me and like showed it to me and was like, Macy, this is you, you got to have it. So I was like, okay, queen, you are absolutely right. Um, and what did you get from her shop? Oh yeah, so just speed round. I got this little tee, so cute. A little artsy fartsy moment. I love a little, you know, brown and green and orange tee. And then we have... This was so good. This I knew you would love this. Oh my god, it was hanging up. And this little Minnie Mouse, so tiny, so cute. But the back, it says Minnie. It is so perfect. It is so cute. It I is love so the incredible. color so much. And I want to layer some little tanks over it. And then I got this as my last piece from her that again is like a little out of my comfort zone, but also like so shimmy shimmy. Obviously I love the colors. I love the front. I love that it's sleeveless. I don't know how I'm gonna style this yet. So just again, stay tuned because there will be styling coming. This pile is so massive, but we are okay, winding down to the I last item. Girl. So like we are gonna- Disco girl first. Yeah, disco girl first. Cause we are about to run okay. out of so then at this one Space. vendor that Macy didn't get anything from, I saw this Disco Diva tea. It's beautiful. Enough said. Had to have it. Disco Angel. Disco Angel, Disco Queen. You were obviously is. loving her pink. I feel like I was curating like a color moment. coordinated <laughs> moments, as we'll see. And for our last Silver Lake flea market vendor situation, we ran into these two girls that were running their like shops together at the same time. They were the kindest angels in the world. They are also viewers. You guys, you know who you are and we love you so much. They just had the most the insane best, selection. Best. Sweetest, best. Oh, I could it literally was the best I shop ever. Done. I couldn't, I couldn't say more good things about these girls running these shops. They are so incredible and amazing. We found the best stuff. Okay, first up, this pink freaking Juicy Couture tank top. It's incredible. It's so me. It is beautiful. And I also found these pants, which the second I saw these two things, I knew I wanted to buy them both to go together. These Skins pants, they say skin on the back. Skin Industries. They are so freaking sexy. They they're almost so have hot. like a V cut and like, they're just beautiful, beautiful sweatpants. And these together, bada bing, bada bang, it is the moment. So now I have this energy little top. I just saw the little side zipper. I was like, that just looks like it'll fit so good. Yeah. I love, it was right after I'd worn your gray. High waisted, or my neck. gray high neck top. Yeah. Like, the man manifest has been, no, it's been a the, again, manifestation the theme. trip. But it's so cute. And we then love it. I also got this top that is, I mean, it's of my dreams. It's like a little swoop scoop neck situation. And I it's just love super, like, the tie-dye vibe. It's so thin, perfect for summer, being out in the heat. Absolutely. And then the tops that we have on our body right now are also from one of those girls. And you be stopped. I can't get over this one. It's BB, it's vintage, it's fabulous. It's literally sequined and bejeweled and has the so high neckline I'm loving. That top was made for Macy and I, this top gives me It's like sexy mummy. mummy. It's, it's so sexy cute. mummy energy. We love it so much. And the last things that we got from her shop. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? This was like a destiny moment. We walked in, we said ours, literally our, our size. Okay, my size, your size. Excuse for me? Us. What? So literally, uh, these gorgeous platforms. Mine are punk rose. Mine are punk rose, and they're like bedazzled with silver. Mine are just some soda. They're perfect. They are perfect. They are perfect. They're so high. I feel like a brat stole. And literally um, stomp, stomp, stomp. Clank, stomp, clank. stomp, stomp. Clank, clank, clank. Cannot even get enough. Cannot. And then I guess I'm going to share these last two things that came in the mail while Lexi was here. Just speed, speed. These are from the Sage Vintage, one of my favorite vintage shops online. This like me, me, me shirt, which someone on TikTok pointed out to me that this used to be an American Eagle like little t-shirt back in the day because they said they had it that she reworked into a one shoulder moment okay kind of iconic no i'm obsessed 
Oh, obsessed. okay, I love, I didn't even notice that that was green and pink. Yeah, the, the stitching, side. she reworked some amazing tops. I'm pretty sure she also reworked this halter maybe, which is hard to show you guys right here. So in the try on, you'll see it, but oh. it's a halter <laughs> with like all of these strings. Is top. But it is amazing, it is incredible, and we love it so much. And I think that's the end of the video. Is, is that really the end over? of the video? Is it really over? I don't even, I wish you guys could see what's happening over here right now, but like, it's like, too much. Insane it's too much. As I feel like it as is. I think it is. Pretty sure. So I hope that you guys have stayed around for the whole video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it has like given you some inspiration to just go secondhand shopping for your summer wardrobe. Skip the fast fashion. I understand that it is totally a privilege to shop secondhand, to shop sustainably, but. I think it's all about like doing what you can where you can. You know, Lexi is a college student. She's on a much tighter budget and she'll purchase things here and there from certain brands and whatnot, but she tries to shop secondhand as much as possible. Especially and to get like fun pieces, like half of the clothes that I have, like I wouldn't be able to have bought like retail at all and wouldn't make sense like for my budget. So I feel like secondhand shopping, especially if you need like pieces for when Corona's over or parties, also for like professional wardrobe, so I picked up a few profesh pieces. For like interviews and stuff like those. that. Yeah, it's perfect. That's the best thing about secondhand shopping. You can really find like the craziest, kookiest things or you can find like she found that very like basic top in the linens closet in the Beverly Hills estate sale. Like we, we stand secondhand shopping. No, we love it. It is absolutely our blood, our life, our fave. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit subscribe down below for more thrift videos. I will be back later in the summer with Lexi. So bid adieu to my queen at Ho for Toad on Instagram. No, Give her a follow. Our, to keep up with Lexi's outfits, how she styles all of these things, she's gonna be posting all the pics. Follow me at Macy Eleni if you are not already. And do not forget that you are a beautiful ass queen just the way you are, doing you just the way you do. Just the way you are, be a star. Oh, shine right, shine far, don't be shy, don't be a star, where you live, where, where you, you are, be a star, peace, peace, peace love and shimmies. Just a girl and her big ass pile of clothes. Just a girl and her haul. Just a girl and her haul. Peace, peace, peace. love and shimmies.